On this channel, we love our VMs and emulators. So in this one, I'm showing you an Android emulator that basically just integrates with your system and is just an extension to your system instead of being a whole another application for your emulation stars. So it's called Wayjoid. As you can see, I'm installing it right now. And while this installed, I'm going to tell you to subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, make sure to check out our shop and get something for yourself or gift someone. If you don't want anything, you can donate to the channel or just leave a comment on what emulator you're currently using. And did I miss something? I don't know, if I miss something, remind me in the comment as well. Why not? But anyway, this emulator, I kind of stumbled upon it and it was really good. So I was looking for, like, I play a game called Shadow Fight 3. I won't give it an exposure. It's kind of basically a pay to win game. But I am an F2P player, obviously, because I am broke as hell. Anyway, <laughs> that's beside the point. The point is that I was looking for an emulator to kind of play it on my Linux system, on my laptop that I have. So what did I do exactly? So I was looking for it. I saw Blue Sticks, LD Player, like a lot of options but it wasn't like feeling right you know like it wasn't it didn't have that linux feeling to it and i do know that android is based off of linux so i thought maybe it's something more integrated would be work so that's where i found waydroid now this primarily works on wayland so if you are not on wayland it's kind of pointless to watch this video but you know what if you want to educate yourself i am happy to see you here thank you for watching this video and choosing to pick our tech resolve express <laughs> anyway as you can see it is getting installed and uh, what it is basically i would say it's kind of like docker so if any of you have used docker before uh, a docker is basically a container so it runs the underneath system uh, it's basically a linux system that just runs an application on a controlled environment uh, did i get that right i think i did but what this way droid does is kind of like the same thing it takes your system it makes a container so an android container and just runs a system uh, specifically lineage os or lineage os however i like to say it onto that system and that is basically what's happening with our Wayjoy. And let me tell you, it's, uh, the configuration is a bit, I would say, weird because I think it's basically a developer environment. So you can make a custom room out of it if you want. But uh, for an emulator, it's quite, I would say, integrated, which you will see in, uh, later on in the video. So after it gets installed, you have to just type in sudo wayjoid init-s gapps. So if you want gapps or Google applications, you need to type in the dash s gapps. But if you don't want it if you just want uh, basically a vm then you can just type it till the init part and it will do the same and uh, if you are using gapp this is something that i encountered that the first time it does not work and it throws an error i don't know why it does that uh, if any of the devs are watching like can you like anyone tell me why this happens but it just breaks first time but once you kind of do it again so let me show you what i mean so if we just run this again and you'll see it will work just fine so if you guys also encounter this error make sure to let me know and I don't know why, but it's it's pulling from uh, SourceForge and it kind of takes a while to download. Like it isn't pulling my network's full capabilities. So yeah, let us sit here and wait. And while you're waiting, so how's that? How's your day going? You no, know, having a nice day. Are you having? Are you frustrated? Yeah, you know I I can't hear you. So there's no point in starting a therapy session. So uh, I'll be back after this is done. So there you go. It is done installing. Now we can move on to the next steps. So now we have to enable Wedra to actually work. Because again, like I said it is kind of like a container so it has to be enabled and a quick fyi uh, if you run it it will auto start as soon as you uh, i would say uh, turn your system on so it will be basically always running so this is the commands you need and we can check the status and for some reason it does say session stop but it does work when we uh, start it up so which i will do right now give it a moment so if i just do wayjoid show full ui so with this command it basically just turns the vm on or the system on and you'll notice that it basically just it is just turning on lineage os or lineage os uh, this is the boot animation and this is the first time i have seen an emulator have a boot animation and i love it so there you go it just booted up and the something you will notice as soon as you get in is with the gf version it does not like it like not having the like, clear protect certified it annoyed the hell out of me and it would beep like 20 is like every 20 seconds telling me your play protect isn't certified Bro, Oh, I know I can see that it's not certified why are you telling me that every five seconds anyway <clears throat> let us continue so here is a time lapse of me just frantically looking for stuff searching for stuff finding out stuff and figuring figuring that it does not work so after a while like trying out different things trying out different forums looking into reddit and stuff finally reddit came through and I found an article where people were having the same issue and at this point I was literally just turning off everything disabling stuff turning it on like yeah reddit someone had the same issue
issue and I would see if I can find it and put it in the description. But what I finally ended up doing is kind of just going to the WayDroid website. Yeah, like that's what I learned over the years that if you can find some a solution for something, just look at the place where it was born. Yeah, like the people who made it obviously know better than the people who are using it because they made it, obviously. The people who made it, they're the one who made it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's weird as I can you tell that I am excited and frustrated at the same time? Well, because I am. But you can see that I did try a lot of things. And at this point, I was looking for something called an Android ID. So that's the ID you need to certify your device with Google. So what I ended up doing, again, just opened up a browser, went into the WayDroid website, got into the documentation, and I wasn't taking any chances. I went straight to the documentation and did not look anyway. Then after getting in here, I was kind of looked in and I found the Google Play Integrity. So that was great. And in here, there is was a very long command which I don't know why I tried to copy it, there was a literally a copy button so I pressed it and don't open the OPS open the terminal there you go and in here I was already in the WayDroid shell make sure you are in the WayDroid shell and I just ran the command and it spitted out the Android ID like it was nothing so I just copied the Android ID and again went back to the browser and went to this link right here again I'll put this in the description so if you guys are also doing it make sure to check these links out now this point bro, bro I I felt so dumb. Like I didn't know that I had to put it on that place. I thought it was in the bottom side, but it wasn't. It was on the like above. Like they should say, please enter it here. But instead, I was. I kept looking. I thought it was a dark reader, which made everything funky. But no, it wasn't dark reader. It was me being dumb and Google's web designer being even dumber. Like yeah, I couldn't figure out where the heck do I put and already. Then like after looking for a bit, I realized that that literally says Google's services framework Android ID. How am I supposed to know that there is that is the place where I have to put the ID? So I just placed it here and at this point I sighed so hard. Anyway, uh, I just registered it. It just registered. But the thing was, it does not take effect immediately. So it takes a bit of time. So don't just uh, do this and just say, yay, let's get into it. Because that's not how it works. It does take Google a bit of time. I think 20 to 30 minutes is the time it takes. So I said, you know what, 20 to 30 minutes, that's not a great deal of time. and It, could, it may not work in the that time so i just went to bed and came the next day <laughs> one day later or a day later i tried it again and you can see on the time like it is the next day like i tried it again i pressed on sign in and it wasn't whining it wasn't screaming it wasn't killing me so i just logged in and sold my sold my soul to the devils anyway i logged in and all the apps are here and at this point i was thinking hmm how do i test how much integrated it is the thing is what i heard about it is if you install something on here it will show up straight up in your linux system so i just installed YouTube because again I use YouTube on a browser so I said you know what what's better than a browser a full ass emulator to run YouTube so I just did that I uh, downloaded it and it was it did install so when while it was installing I was thinking to myself hmm will this actually work so let me just show you so there you go it got installed and I straight up went to check if this worked and I don't know it does not show me a close button so yeah I just went in here my app drawer obviously and then search for YouTube and it just pops up and when I click on this, it opens up the terminal and goes straight into YouTube. So as you can see, it's really seamless. Like from clicking the app and opening it in an like emulator, it just works. So in here, uh, I was trying to see if I can play some videos and if the audio worked. Because obviously, if I want to play games on this, I can't have no audio. So when I played it, uh, let me just play this one. And yeah, it's an ad. Let me watch this. And uh, don't worry, I do watch my ads. <laughs> anyway, so I did uh, open this up and there was no audio so that was a bit weird that there was no audio and the fix was pretty straightforward to be honest uh, which i will show in a bit so it, the audio wasn't working for me but uh, if you also have that issue then here's how to fix that so i did check my volumes that if it was correct and you no know, i checked my application volumes but it straight up did not have audio so what did i do so to fix that issue all i had to do was enable a few services which are pipewire pipewire pulse wire plumbers so basically the typical audio stuff and i thought I had everything working because my audio was working at this point but I think there must be something that I missed maybe something did not like get installed properly so I kind of reinstalled Pipewire Pulse as I didn't as I was not sure that it was installed or not so I did install it then I just checked the status for it so I just deleted this and then just do status and then I checked for Pipewire which mainly handles your audio if you're using any modern system it uses Pipewire or Pulse Audio but at this point it did say active but there was a 
disabled written there. So I just said, you know what, let's just enable everything. Why not? Like if it's enabled, it is enabled. If it's not enabled, it will be enabled. So sure, I just said enable everything. Go pipe wire, we got pipe wire plumber and pipe wire pulse. So that's what I basically did. I literally enabled everything. <laughs> so I just did pipe wire pulse and then hit enter. And there were a few things that got enabled, which I didn't know what it was actually enabling, but something was enabling, which is really great. And at this point of the recording process, I realized that I kind of removed the audio of the video. So I can't make you guys also hear what I'm hearing. Just trust me on this. It did work. And you guys can check it for yourself. You know, <laughs> it worked and everything was working finally. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. And it it has audio, but it has audio. I'll, I'll, I'll insert some audio in here just to make it convincing. You know, just, just trust me on this. Bye.